Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today I've got six, six new squallies for you, and I promise, unless you follow me on Instagram, you have not seen these models before. A quick history, I mean, maybe not even, I've carried squally at this point for, I'm gonna guess seven years or so, somewhere around there, maybe eight years, and uh, over the past, there's been different distributors and stuff, but for the last couple of years, it's been pretty solid, and I'm pretty much the point person in the U.S. for the brand. Uh, so because of that, I'm able now to kind of create my own models, and that's what I did. So about a year ago or so, I got together with them and put some ideas together, and it took a while. Uh, but here I've got, so I've got these six new divers for you to show you. It's all the same watch, just six different colorways. Six might be a lot, but I really wanted to show the versatility and I think they're all very different. None of them are, are really the same. Uh, and of course they are quite affordable. My own wrist check. Yeah, I'm still wearing the spring drive. Now, ironically, I did not wear it this weekend. Uh, today is Monday. I'm not sure what day of the week this video is coming out. I did not wear it on Monday and it's actually the power reserve is down to halfway. So really cool. So three day power reserve, really nice. Really lasts <laughs> three days. Uh, and then, Another one that was just released uh, last week or earlier this week, depending on when, again, depending on when this gets released, because uh, 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 um, the ISL 32, the white dial dress watch with the pinstripe dial, I, you know, I'm filming this video in advance. I'm just kind of waiting for photography and for listings to get created, but the watches are all here. Uh, so kind of filming this a little bit early. Anyway, uh, let's check these out. So admittedly, six is probably a lot of models. Like I said, I really wanted to cover a, a bunch of different um, dial combinations. So I figured, why not? And this is also kind of my first foray into, I would guess, I would say designing a watch made by another company um, for me. Not that I designed it, but I had a lot of design input in picking the shape, the colors, the configurations, etc. You will notice they are all on leather. And I will preface the whole video with saying there is a bracelet under production for them, probably out in a few months, uh, if you're a bracelet kind of guy. But the vibe that this echoes, I really felt that leather was the correct strap to sell it with. I know a lot of people poo-poo divers on leather, especially 300 meter water resistant divers, but I thought it just set the watch off so well. So generally, um, Squally doesn't have like real names really for watches. Um, you know, we say 1521, 1545, 20 at most, 30 at most. Um, but I actually, since I was creating these uh, basically for my store and my market, um, I am calling this the Montauk because Montauk is a town on Long Island, uh, all the way out on the East End that I have frequented. Uh, it is a very nautical town, obviously, on the South Fork of Long Island, all the way at the end, Montauk Point Lighthouse. And it's just. I don't know, kind of gives me that vibe and feel, kind of a casual weekend, almost a beachy watch. Um, but of course, you don't need to be near a beach to wear it, as most people that own dive watches don't live near a beach, right? Okay, so the Squally Montauk 300 meter Swiss made automatic dive watch. Uh, we'll jump right into the specs. 30, okay, so 38 millimeters in diameter. I want to flip it over though so you can see. 38 on the case. Here's the case. If you look, you do see the edge of the bezel sticking out about one millimeter on each side. So if you include the, the diameter of the bezel, it's 40, but it does not wear like a 40. It is truly a 38 millimeter case. It is 12 millimeters thick to a uh, AR, sapphire crystal AR only on the inside. It is 46 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. An excellent, excellent size. A solid screw down case back. You can see the squally engraving, 30 at most, which means 300 meters of water resistance, stainless steel, Swiss made. Yes, it's a Swiss made watch. The sapphire crystal we mentioned, and the lug is 20 millimeters. So if you want to put a rubber strap on it or a nylon or anything else, 20, extremely, extremely common. Um, a beautiful bezel, 120 click, unidirectional ratcheting bezel. It is a uh, K1 mineral insert. There is loom at the triangle. Um, and you'll notice that the dials on all of them have this, um, I believe it's Nomoto Luminova, uh, the old radium kind of style loom looking. Uh, so it's that 
that vintagey kind of darkened loom on all of them, that patinaed loom. So really nice, but it does glow rather well. Uh, screw down crown. You'll see a little blue on the crown. That is just protection for scratching and shipping and handling. Um, it does scrape off, but I really don't want to scrape it off. You'll see they'll all have it, but there is the Von Buren uh, crest on the crown. So the dial itself, this is the blue one. I guess there are six of them. Uh, the model numbers are MTK dash and then one, two, three, four, five, six. You see you have Squally at the top with the family crest. Uh, the name Squally again, which means shark in the dialect of Italian where the brand comes from, even though they're Swiss made watches, the kind of they hop across the border for the factory. 30 atmospheres of water resistance, Swiss made on the dial. Whoops. Oh, I didn't probably didn't even mention the movement today. It is a Celita SW 200 movement. Um, so that is your standard 26 joule hand walking, hand walking, <laughs> hand winding, hand winding, hacking. Whoops, there we go. Change the time. One click out and change the date. It is an elaborate graded movement from Salita and it is regulated to five positions. So it is a very nice watch, very well done in the, um, obviously in the mechanics on the inside as well. Uh, nice, nice knurling on the bezel, beautiful polishing on the case. It is polished on the sides and brushed on the top. The strap, so all the straps are this beautiful leather, Italian leather, handmade in Italy. 20 millimeters tied off stitching. This guy's blue to match the blue watch and of course a brushed signed buckle. This is the blue dial. It is a sunburst as you can see. Very nice. Oh, I didn't even mention price. I'm sorry. Uh, $5.95 uh, for any of them. It doesn't matter. They're all $5.95. So I'm going to go over all the colors now. Now I kind of, I think I feel, I feel like I showed you the watch in enough detail. Now, oh, maybe I didn't talk about the hand. So regular squally style hands that cool seconds hand, silver with again the same old radium style luminescence on it. So blue dial, okay, and tell you all the colors. Here is, you may say red, they call it Bordeaux, which I really dig. Not that I'm a wine drinker, I actually don't even drink alcohol, but the name Bordeaux to mean kind of Bordeaux to me kind of, you know, I, I see somebody or some family or whatever you know, sipping wine, looking at the waves crashing on the ocean, and uh, I don't know, I think it works perfectly. You'll notice on all of them, the chapter ring is done in silver. I did this on purpose. I did this because in offset, uh, offset in color, a different color chapter ring brings the overall perception of the watch size down. Uh, so, cause it gives you, le you know, kind of it doesn't blend in with the dial, so it gives you almost less viewable area if you were to look at it that way, rather than if the chapter ring in this case matched the watch. I really like that, um, I, I like the effect. I think it looks amazing. Uh, so Bordeaux red, and the Bordeaux red will come on a black strap with the tied off stitching. Uh, so this was number two, or maybe it's not Montauk number two, but it's the second one I'm showing you. Greeny. Again, another sunburst color. This is, sorry, the bezel's not straight. I apologize. I know some, some people are probably twitching at home. There we go. This is the green. It is, again, sunburst. Try to adjust the exposure when I can. It is done on, this is the only one done on a light brown strap. A tan, if you will, or a honey brown. Okay, this is the green. Okay. Then, there's a brown, you may call it root beer if you wish. It is, again, it's another, they're all sun rays except for, um, I think maybe the next two. Uh, it is a sun ray or sunburst brown, so it does have beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful appearance. On a dark brown strap, excuse me. This one's, this one's really nice, this one's cool. Talk about cool. This guy's cool. Smoke gray. Maybe a Fumoso, I think they might call it. But anyway, this is a uh, Canombre dial. It starts out, you know, basically very, very dark gray or black on the outside and it fades to a very light gray on the inside, almost like looking through smoke. Really cool. This guy's also paired on the dark brown leather strap. 
sweet. This one, this one, I think this dial is really nifty. I think my favorite might be the blue, but this dial is nifty. And then I, I had to, I had to make a, uh, a black dial, but I went for matte black and not for sunburst or glossy black. So there's a regular matte black, but does a great job. The matte black kind of works, I feel, with the vintage look or of the, uh, of the loom. I think it does a great job. Uh, it all kind of fits together, I guess, in in, in the same uh, in the same color motif. I will um I will try one of them on so we can check it out. Here we go. It is quite a cozy strap, being that it's a single ply. It's not um you know, it's not stitched together. Um, six and three quarter inch wrist. I might go one notch tighter, possibly. I don't know. Uh, but there it is, above the bone and below the bone obviously 46 on the tip to tip is a dream and 38 on the case very comfortable very lightweight here i am on the strap you can see uh so let's see if i was six and three quarter so you're looking at like maybe seven and a half or so and then maybe about six and a quarter to six down here so it fits a wide range of wrists um normal squally sizing i would say so they're all loomed exactly the same. It looks great. It's so easy to read the time. You do see that the bezel triangle is marked at the um, at the 12 uh, on the rotating bezel. And you also see a little bit of reflection on the silver chapter ring from the indices and markers. But certainly no problem telling the time here. Your 12, 6, and 9 are easily identified by triangles. And uh, the date at the three eats up the uh, loomed index, so you always know uh, where 12 is. So I think that will about do it. I'll wrap it up. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, showing you a bunch of new squalies uh, made specifically for my store. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.